Good day guys, Austin here, and today we're going to be putting Cody onto our hyperspin setups because not so long back I showed you how to set up Cody and a lot of you guys have been wanting to actually, I don't know, launch Cody from within hyperspin. Perfectly good thing, especially if you've got like a HTPC, an arcade cabinet or something along them lines. So today I thought I'd give you everything that you need in order to get this running, including the knowledge, the most valuable bit of it all. <laughs> so, without further ado, first off, you need to obviously have Cody. Now, if yours isn't very up to date, if you haven't dabbled with it that often, or if you've not got it at all, or if you don't have a clue what the hell I'm talking about, then basically, look at this link here, or go in the description down below, and watch the video, peruse at your leisure, and let me guide you through the complete setup to not only get you installed, but get the most out of Cody itself. Okay then, once you're there, and if you're already there then, basically, let's get stuck in and get this set up. Okay then, so let's actually get this set up. You should hopefully at this stage have Cody already installed as per my guide or as per your already installed setup. And you should also have Hyperspin. I can't guide you through all that in this one. Hopefully this one's going to be a quick one. Right then, first thing that you're going to need to do is go into the description down below. And within there you will find a link, more than likely to a mega site. What I want you to do is download whatever file is in there, get it to whatever it is you want to download it to, and you'll be greeted with a file similar to this, if not identical. And as you can see, it's a 7-zip, which means it's compressed. So I implore you to use 7-zip program to extract, decompress, or uncompress, whatever it is that you call this. So all you need to do is right-click, choose 7-zip, extract wherever it is you want to extract it and you'll end up with a folder similar if not identical to this one now within here i've given you everything you need to get this up and running on your hyperspin setup so i've given you the theme i've given you the wheel and i've given you the video to play within the theme once you're perusing your hyperspin setup so first things that we're going to need to do is actually start delving into our hyperspin stuff so on this pc i think i've got a a test build somewhere. Excuse me while I peruse on this PC. I'm not sure what the setup is like on here. Uh, I'm sure there's a, a dodgy one on here. Here we go. So this is, for example, your hyperspin setup. You should have a folder structure similar to this one. So you've got your hyperspin executable. We're basically in the root of the hyperspin setup. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go through rocket launcher. We're going to launch this specifically just within hyperspin. So what we want to do is first off load up hyper HQ. Because what we're going to be doing is actually adding this as a system to our hyperspin setup. It's exciting really is exciting so basically what will happen while I'm waiting for this to load is once you are in your main wheel of hyperspin one of the options will be Cody all you need to do is go over to the Cody it should have an all singing or dancing theme and you should be able to launch it straight into Cody from your main wheel of hyperspin so first thing you need to do is actually add it to our setup so enter the main menu wizard Click on the plus sign. Now what I want you to do is name this Cody, but I want it to be all uppercase. No lowercase, no whatever, no naming it anything different. Call it Cody. Otherwise you're going to have to rename everything that I've supplied for you. Once you've done that then, click next. Uh, does this wheel have a sub wheel? No, in this case it doesn't. Or oh, does it have an executable program? Yes, it has an executable program. Now what I want you to do is choose whatever you want to have this located on your setup. Some people like it alphabetically, some people like it in terms of systems, or whatever they've got set up. I, in this case, don't really care, so I'm going to just put it, I don't know, next to main. Because it's exciting there. And I'm going to put it before main, because in this scenario it's more important. Add before. Are you sure you want to add code before main? Yes I am. Please do so. Okay then, so as you can see, it's giving me ticks, the metaphoric sign saying everything is correct and you've done well. You've done well in your job. And here's a magical hat because we've just made magic. Yeah, I should... Continue with the wizard. 
locate executable. Right, so what this is ax axing, what this is axing, brother, is where our Cody setup is. So for me, I've just installed a, I don't know, a vanilla version of Cody here on my desktop. Obviously, wherever your Cody is, is, well, specific to you. It's your personal taste. So what I want to do is find out whatever the executable program is for Kodi. So in my case it's going to be desktop and then it's going to be Kodi demo install. Click on the Kodi little executable. Just make sure while you're in it you are actually doing the right one and you're not putting uninstall or something like that. Make sure it is the actual Kodi executable file as you can see application. Once that's done click uh, open and it should add that as an address obviously everybody's going to be unique and then once that's done click continue enter the optional parameters otherwise click continue we've got no optional parameters thank you so we'll just click continue do you want hype do you want to use hyper launch to no we don't don't question me like that congratulations and look at it. it's like a birthday sign there we've got balloons we've got kazoos we've got everything so basically this is what it's saying is well done your task is complete You've conquered the mission of adding Cody to your setup in terms of information, folder structure, and the way it wants Cody to act. So, wizard complete, you should now be able to launch your executable directly from the main menu. Congratulations. So just to confirm, I'm gonna go into my wheel settings tab. I'm gonna click on the drop-down box and hopefully Cody should appear, if by magic, in one of the options. So I'm just gonna check everything is set up correctly you should have something looking similar to this one so the executable it should be on normal not hyper launch it's not a pc game so we don't need to worry about anything like that so hopefully by the gods of hyper spin and cody we should be able to launch this from our main menu however let's not run first off let's get rid of that the next thing we need to look at is actually adding all the media that i've given you so first things first then within your hyperspin setup not your rocket launcher or hyper launch or whatever it is that you're running within your hyperspin setup you should have a media folder go into here now what we're going to do is start adding the media that i've given you for coding now all of this will be within the main menu so what i want you to do is navigate to main menu as you can see you've not got much installed in here so alphabetically so i'm sorting this i should have main menu here so within Hyperspin, media, main menu. You should be greeted with this kind of folder structure inside. Uh, first off then, let's add the Cody theme. So we drag this over and the theme should just drop into there. Next thing then, video, drag this over and the video. Next thing we wanna do is go into images, a wheel. <laughs> and now what we want to do is add the Cody wheel into the setup. Boom. Do you want to replace? Yes. And never question me again. Okay, so this theoretically should now have everything set up inside of Cody. So that when we launch Hyperspin, we should have the theme, we should have the wheel, we should have the video. And once we click enter, it should launch Cody. Everything working. Let's pray to the gods of Hyperspin that this has actually worked. So navigate back out. Uh, launch wherever your Hyperspin is. I've got no idea. I don't even know if this Hyperspin actually works. I suppose we're going to dance with the devil today, though, aren't we? Let's launch this up. Me take a second. There's quite a lot of things going on on this computer right now. Come on. Come on. Yes, well, at least I know Hyperspin is kind of working. <laughs> Get in here. Right, now what we need to do is navigate to wherever um, Cody is. So, I believe I put it just before me. There we go. So, as you can see, the wheel is there, which is good. And it seems to be current with the rest of the setup. So, let's let it load. And there you go. I've given you a basic theme. It's basic, but clear, crisp and professional just the way Cody is so now when I launch it hopefully Cody should launch come on there we go there we go as you can see I've done nothing with Cody it's the bare vanilla I just did it for the purpose of this install but hopefully when I click exit 
straight back to Cody. Yeah, <laughs> now we can peruse again all at our leisure. And the world is an amazing place. That is Cody set up on Hyperspin. Right then. Do you want to exit? That went better than I expected. I'm not going to lie. That was the first run. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. You've now got Cody working. If you've already got Cody and you're just using your install, please take the time to look at the install or the guide that I've put for you. There's quite a lot of extras that aren't normally available on standard Cody builds. and It may help you out in the long run. I will be looking also to do the opposite of what we've done here today. So instead of launching, I don't know, Cody from within Hyperspin, what I want to do is show you also how to launch Cody how to launch Cody, how to launch Hyperspin from within Cody. So it's like turning it on its head. Some people like it one way, some people like it the other. It depends what your main, I don't know, multimedia front end is. But yeah, I'll be showing you that in the upcoming days more than likely. I'll try and get it out today, in fact. Anyway, we digress. That's now complete. Mission is over. Look forward in the future. If you didn't watch my grip video, the last game video I just brought out, at the end there, uh, I give you a teaser of what is about to come in the Hyperspin world. In fact, I'm not going to tease you with anything because I can't tell you anything. My lips are sealed. But trust me, guys, there is huge developments on the horizon of Hyperspin. I'm happy as Larry, to be honest. I'm not going to tell anybody anything because my integrity is my name. And, well, just face it, there's a hell of a lot of stuff on the horizon. And I can't wait. Anyway. Thank you for joining me today guys, thank you more than anything, please like the video if you do so, please share it if you've got the time, and if you haven't already, subscribe. But remember guys, do not buy Hyperspin from anywhere because you will only get burnt, trust me. And other than that, you have a good day. <laughs> Laters guys!